Dr. Keith Curry here. As a certified nutritional pathologist and board certified chiropractic internist, a condition that I'd like to talk with you about today is called hungry bone syndrome. Now, what is that? Hungry bone syndrome is caused whenever calcium levels go low in the blood. So in the serum, the calcium levels can go low. And if it's been low for a long period of time, let's say about an 8.4 or less on a blood work, then the bones literally can become hungry for the calcium. They start leaching that calcium saying, hey, give me the calcium. They're, they're literally hungry. They're starving for calcium. And so they start really pulling that calcium and sequestering the calcium, which then can create other problems. Um, some other things that go along with that, since phosphorus is an electrolyte mineral and also is magnesium, um, those can also be low as well. Now, some of the conditions that cause this to happen uh, could be if someone has surgery on their thyroid gland, for example. The thyroid gland is a butterfly gland that's in your neck and it has the isthmus that connects the two pieces that go this way. And so it's kind of like the letter H, okay? And on the back side of the thyroid gland, there are these parathyroid glands that are really, really small, but they secrete a hormone called parathyroid hormone. And if they're not working right, okay, the parathyroid, then that, that affects serum calcium, absolutely. Well, one of the other things that can happen is, is if someone has a thyroid surgery and that those parathyroids are accidentally damaged, then that can cause low calcium, hypo hypocalcemia, which is low calcium in the serum. And so then next thing you know, people can develop that hungry bone uh, syndrome. And so that's a big one. Uh, it's not very common, but it is common in people who are having surgeries, okay? Thyroid surgery, parathyroid surgery, neck surgery, those kinds of things. Um, as far as symptoms are concerned, uh, seizures, muscle cramps, aches or pains, uh, memory, fatigue, um, bone pains even, bone aches, uh, muscular weakness, irritability, um, confusion. Okay, that's another big one. So those are the most common. Uh, stiff muscles, spasming of the muscles. Um, so obviously, like I said, surgeries can cause it. Uh, also, another condition is actually prostate cancer. Uh, if prostate cancer metastasizes and moves from the prostate to other parts of the body, then that can spread to the bones and then cause that type of thing uh, to happen where the bones start saying, hey, I'm hungry for calcium. So uh, I like to check parathyroid hormone on patients that both have high calcium and low calcium to try to help figure out why someone's dealing with those kinds of things. Uh, now, some of the things that can cause uh, this or to actually people to have risk factors, vitamin D deficiency. If someone's deficient in vitamin D, then that can cause it. Uh, low blood calcium, like I already said. Uh, some people can have elevated parathyroid hormone. Um, there is a marker on blood work that's called alkaline phosphatase. And alkaline phosphatase levels, uh, if bone is breaking down, then the al al um, alkaline phosphatase, we call it alkphos, uh, it can elevate on blood work. And so that can be a sign of bone loss. Um, um, th th thyroid surgery, like I said, um, believe it or not, being overweight, obesity can cause this or li be linked to it. Um, high, high blood urea nitrogen. So bun on a blood work, B-U-N. If you see elevated bun, then that can actually be a, a sign that something like this could be occurring. Now, really what bun is, is it's a waste product. It's a byproduct of pro protein breakdown. It's urea, nitrogen, blood urea, nitrogen. And so you don't want to see that go too high. Uh, obviously, tumors are a big one that can be linked to that. Um, and then um, from, a, from a standpoint of diagnosing it, you know, looking at blood, looking at blood tests, looking at seeing things like alkphos, serum calcium, vitamin D levels. Um, so there's things like that that you can do. Uh, management and treatment, really overall, um, oral vitamin D supplementation can be great for people who are dealing with hungry bone, because obviously you wanna be able to absorb the, the calcium and vitamin D. Um, I actually prefer D with K2, uh, because that helps even aid uh, with the calcium absorption even better. Uh, you know that ph phosphorus and magnesium are often low with this condition as well, so maybe doing some supplementation there. Um, oral calcium. Um, now, I usually don't go hardcore with oral calcium with a patient because um, too much calcium in the body can also be a really bad thing. Uh, it can cause more placking to build up in the arteries. It can cause 
uh, more arthritis. Uh, because when the body tissues are inflamed, then they can start laying up calcium deposits um, and then you, it can actually create some more arthritis. Um, and so some people who are extremely deficient may need some IV uh, intervention where they can do some IV cal calcium therapy for a period of time. Um, so that's, that's really important information. Um, if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out here, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Feel welcome uh, or free to subscribe to my channel. And I always love hearing your comments. Hope you have a great day.